in sync. What do you get when you put together a dedicated science teacher, some extremely motivated students, and a world-class scientist? You get one year of discovery and a lifetime of inspiration. This is what in sync is all about. Here is the journey of one such group. Day one, teacher training. Islip Middle School science teacher Ashley Block is one of about a dozen participants in the first in sync training session. What I like about it is that I'm getting a true understanding of NSLS here and I'm learning all different ways that I can incorporate the technology and this wonderful tool that I can use with my students back at Islip. So far I've learned so many different things. I've learned about all the different techniques and ideas that have been developed here and I'm just amazed by the programs that they have. I want to learn how I can incorporate this technology, this right here, that I can bring back to my classroom and have my kids part of it. Day 101, Proposal Planning. With about a dozen eager eighth grade students, Ashley forms an after-school group to develop a research proposal. They hope to examine the effectiveness of several popular home water filters. People have slowly been trickling in, <laughs> which kind of is funny since we're going to be looking at water filtration. Remember I asked you guys to come up with all those ideas, okay? We have to think of which filters we want to use because I didn't put that in the proposal. Like, do you guys have specific filters that you're thinking of using for the experiment? We can maybe use a Brita filter. What other filters? I always see other filters on TV. What's, there's that other one we can maybe think of, what do you got? We're going to see the difference between water that has, hasn't been cleansed and water that has been cleansed. Well, we all kind of work together on the same brainstorming process, but we might delegate different roles when it comes time to actual work on the experiment. I feel like it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and like I know that there's only few kids out there, especially at my age, that get to go and do this with the Singatron and I know that it's really really lucky and I hope that it's all successful. I think it would be really cool and I've never really gotten to see anything as big as the Singatron at Brookhaven so it would be really awesome just to actually be able to be there. Day 139 Selection Ceremony. An international review panel allocates beam time to three classrooms including the Islip students. During a special awards ceremony, they get their first look at the cutting edge machine that they'll use to conduct their water experiment. Day 199, experiment time. After preparing their samples, the students watch from the comfort of their classroom as scientists look for a variety of chemical elements with micrometer size beams of x-rays. In middle school, actually, the water cycle is one of the things that they study, and so I think that was sort of the impetus for uh, coming up with this experiment in the first place. And as part of this, certainly there's all the laboratory part. So, you know, all the filtering, the sample collection, uh, calculating how much metal they're putting into the sample, you know, that was all done in the classroom. Right, we have our fingers crossed that we're going to see something really exciting and maybe we'll actually get some real surprises because that's the best thing about science is that it's always surprising. Day 295, Reflection. All right, we had great opportunities. We were even in the newspaper. Emily, why don't you tell us about it? Well, after we did the Singatron, we had people from Newsday come and they interviewed us and they asked us certain questions about the experience. And then they told us that eventually we'd be in the newspaper. And we came into school and Ms. Block told us. And it was really exciting to know that like we made a difference and that we made it into the newspaper. First, you have to find the kids. Then you find the teacher. Then develop the idea. Then you write a proposal. Then wait. Prepare the samples. Then, then you run, run the experiment. The experiment. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. We've now all become superstars. Well, I know like how it works, but I want to see it. 